I don't know, maybe it is the right shade. I don't, guys, I'm, I'm confused. Oh, it's very soft. I feel like I put too much. Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. As you can tell from the title, we're reviewing Rare Beauty. Finally, oh my god. Guys, I don't think I've ever received so many requests to review this brand ever before. You guys have been waiting for this, so here I am. I grabbed a bunch of stuff. I didn't grab everything. I purchased, the, um, I would say, most of the stuff from Space NK. Of course, if you're new here, my name is Anushka, and make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can join the family. And also give this video a like so it can reach more people out there. What do you guys think about the new background? I love it so much, guys. And I love that there's a windowsill behind me so that I can just switch it up when I want to. If you don't know already, Selena Gomez is the founder of Rare Beauty. I really, really love the message behind the brand. They're really trying to break down the unrealistic standards of beauty that we have in society today. My primer went flying over there. They're all about embracing you and your individuality, imperfections and all, and yeah, I just love it, guys. Now, you can buy the primer for £13 if you want the mini. I think this is the 15 mil. No, this is 5 mil, by the way. This is the free one I got. But 15 mil is 13 pounds and you can get the full size 28 mil for 23 pounds. I found that their prices were not like drugstore, but they're not like proper high end. They're right in the middle. It says that this works to leave skin looking smoother and helps minimize fine lines. Uh, helps give skin a lit from within glow. Water-based gel formula. Smooth, hydrate, illuminate, never sticky. Although I do like a sticky primer, personally. Anyways, I'm going to put this on one side. I've already moisturised and my brows are done. Doesn't really have a scent. Oh, it feels nice. My go-to primer at the moment is the Fenty Pro Filter Primer. But the hydrating one and this kind of feels like it it has definitely more of a, like a glow sometimes i kind of stay away with these from these kind of primers because it sometimes just accentuates everything on my skin like all the pores all the bumps everything but let's see how this goes it's not as like glittery or anything it's just very glowy and so far i do like the feel of it on my skin let's move on to foundation now i am a bit disappointed guys because I spent ages going back and forth, looking at swatches, looking at some reviews online to see what shade I was. And I didn't go in store, I bought everything online. And uh, I was so stuck on what shade to get. If I do like the foundation, I'll definitely go into Space NK or call them up and see if I can exchange it for the right shade. Hopefully they'll let me. If not, then it'll be my summer shade. I am um, like really pale these days. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I've been indoors for like the past two years. I don't know. There is a find your shade system that I use where I could, where I try to find my shade. And the one I picked up is 370N. And I was either matched to 370N or 360W. And this is way too dark. But yeah, it's £26. It's a breathable foundation, buildable medium coverage, which I really like. It's a serum-like texture with a mess-free doe foot applicator, which I do like too. And it leaves the skin with an even tone and smoother looking pores. All day wear without drying out the skin. Yeah, it looks, it sounds good guys. So yeah, let's just try this. I'm gonna put it on this side first. I don't know, maybe it is the right shade. I don't, guys, I'm, I'm confused. Maybe I didn't get enough sleep last night. Is this the right shade? Let me just use that for now. I'm gonna use my beauty blender because I've been just preferring that for my foundations lately. It just helps to like really let it sink into my skin. I mean, the shade is not off off, but it could be a little better. But you know what? This is wearable. But it was that was easy to blend and it literally feels like air. I can't feel anything on my skin right now. Okay, I've got a bit of scarring here, so I'm gonna try and put a bit more. If this doesn't oxidize, this is actually really wearable for me. It's kind of like mostly covered my scarring. So that's one side. Oh, it looks really nice, guys looking a little orange 
Do you know what? I don't know if it is looking orange. I would say it's leaning more towards my summer shade. It's wearable now, but I need to just make sure I get it down my neck and bronze up my chest area. And even though this says an N, it's very orange. It's working. So let's move on to the uh, concealer. But so far, that's... I'm a bit iffy on the shade because, like, these days I just want it to match me exactly, like, to my skin tone. Um, but it's not bad for shade match. I think maybe I should have gone for 360W. I don't know. I might try to go in store and see if I can swap the shade or maybe purchase a lighter one. But this feels amazing on my skin right now. And it covered really well without looking like cakey or any like heavy. So yeah, so far so good. Next thing we have is concealer. I think I got the right shade in the concealer. Picked up the shade 330N. You can get this for £18. I love, first of all, I didn't even comment on this, but they have a bunch of shades, which is like... I feel like these days you just can't come out with a foundation line without like at least... 30 40 plus shades so this is a hydrating concealer that leaves the skin with a radiant finish long lasting sweat resistant helps to hide blemishes redness and dark circles has a creamy consistency with buildable medium to full coverage easy to blend and it will not settle into fine lines or cake one thing i've noticed is that the doe fit applicator is like angled and it's very flat but let's try this Oh, it's very soft. That doe fit applicator is nice. nice. It's definitely like I can, I don't know, it just, it's thinner than my like Tarte Shape Tape or, or my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. It's blended really nicely and I really like the coverage. I like the shade. I did see someone online using like a cream contour stick. Maybe I'm wrong. But, or maybe they got the concealer, I don't know, but I didn't get any contour bronzer stuff. So I'm going to just use my usual. Before I set my concealer, I'm just going to um, use the blush that I got. I feel like they're really well known for their cream blushes. I didn't want to grab a peach. I feel like I've got so many peach blushes. So I went for like a unique color, like a pinky lilac -y shade it's very different to what i usually have so yeah it literally says on the space nk website that their blushes are their best seller it works to soothe comfort and nourish the skin it's long lasting you can build the color easily so yeah i just guess i have to try it look at that color i feel like i'll just need a little bit i really like their doe foot applicators put this on i feel like i put too much but let's see I'm just gonna, I will be setting with powder after, so it will kind of like dim down. It looks stunning. That blended so nicely as well. And I really like this shade. No, I really like that. I'm just gonna set with some powder. I didn't get eyeshadow because I was looking at other people's reviews and it wasn't like, you know, screaming to me, so gonna put some just like a brown all over okay i also got the perfect strokes eyeliner it's a matte black and it's an intense waterproof liner that delivers bold and even strokes with a calligraphy style brush oh i love their packaging though that is such a unique eyeliner pen like it's it literally looks like those calligraphy pens oh my god let's try this <sighs> wow <gasps> that was so fun this pen guys the, the tip is beautiful okay you need to run and go get this eyeliner the pen is so this like i'm actually shook the next thing i got is the perfect strokes universal volumizing mascara in black perfect everyday mascara that gives volume it lifts and it lengthens i got a mini version for this because i'm so iffy about mascaras i love how much product is on that brush i, I love it when it's 
the brush is like filled up like that and it's very like packed. Okay, let's try this. I've curled my lashes. Oh, I'm liking this so far. The mascara get, gets a pass from me. I feel like you have to be careful because once you start going on a double coat, it, it does dry quickly. So like it can, I feel like it can clump if you keep putting it on like I do sometimes. But yeah, I mean, I really like it. It gives volume, gives length, it gives everything. You just need to see how it wears out throughout the day. But so far, it gets a pass from me. The next thing I got was this gloss. Now I really wanted their like lip balms, but they were all out of stock. I got the Stay Vulnerable Glossy Lip Balm. It's in the shade Nearly Apricot, and it's a hydrating lip gloss that delivers high shine with a cushiony feel of a lip balm. And I really like these kind of shades for my lips because it really brightens and it pulls the pink out from my lips. Oh my god. Oh my god. That feels amazing. That is so hydrating. I mean, I was expecting a bit more of a tint. But this feels amazing. Now, I need to go look for my illuminator. Okay, so I clearly didn't have it in my basket. It wasn't on my order, so ignore me. I'm gutted because I really wanted to try the um, highlighter. I'm really not mad. This is like, this kind of makeup style is so me. The mascara, the primer, I feel like I'm seeing more smile line on this side than this side where I put the primer. It blended easily. The foundation's really nice. The liner, if you like liner, get this please. Sealer is really nice, but we just have to see how this wears throughout the day. I've put the brightness down so you guys can see. Up close, but it's very smooth. It is currently just about 9 a.m. So we'll wear this throughout the day and we'll, we'll see. We'll see what this looks like. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Whew. All right, guys, I'm back. It is now 6.53 p.m. So I've been wearing this for most of the day and it looks really good. I haven't reapplied anything on my lips, but I don't know if you can see that, but it's still a bit of the lip balm. It's just, it's like tacky, but my lips have stayed hydrated. I've been out and about. The blush did not budge. When I was using the lift and stuff and I was looking at my skin, I was like, wow, my skin looks so good right now. So yeah, guys, I'm really impressed with everything. It has come off a little bit on my nose, but that always happens. I don't really see a difference between the primer side and the non-primer side, but it's definitely a bit more like a, it's just a bit, there's like this sheen. But I do really like the primer. I feel like I would wear it on my no makeup days. It just makes your skin look like glass. Um, it's, it's, it's a nice illuminating primer because it doesn't have glitter in it. And I find that when there's actual glitter, it really highlights everything on my face. Foundation concealer is bomb. I'll see if I can get a better shade, but I went out with this and it looked fine. <laughs> so I just feel like I need a little, a tad bit lighter or maybe just keep this and I know I'm going to get darker during summer. Really like the lip balm, really like the mascara and I love the liner. I feel like I need to try the illuminator, but anyways, that's on me. They do have a contour stick, they have a powder and I just, I didn't see the contour stick, but anyways, we'll see. What I didn't see it on the website. But yeah, overall, I definitely recommend Rare Beauty. Definitely try them out. 100% approve their products. They're so good. And I like the price point, the quality of the products, the packaging, the message behind the brand. I love Selena Gomez. And yeah, massive shade brain. I don't have anything bad to say. So yeah, that's my review. I hope you guys found this helpful. Let me know what you would like me to review next. Yeah, comment below if you've tried Rare Beauty already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.